Hi, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. So I have been talking about the rainbow, the musical scales flowing with creation for a couple of days now. And I'm going to give you some great news and why I have been dealing with this and what this actually means. Even further, everything has a deeper understanding or deeper meaning so that we can understand our personal growth. Let's go back though. I have talked about this and I went and did some looking on my YouTube channel in regards to it. I mentioned the Antikorana roughly four months ago. If you haven't watched that video, please go back. Uh, there might be a couple of videos associated with it. On uh, Between May the 17th and the 22nd, we will be experiencing what is called the Palladius Portal, which is, of course, why I ended up giving you a Palladian light transmission video yesterday to help you integrate some of these upcoming energies. And a lot of you, of course, are probably feeling what we are going to be experiencing. The Antikorana is a bridge that connects our higher self into this physical form. It connects our monad, our spiritual body, our light body, our rainbow body into our physical form. For those of you who don't kind of un don't understand our process or well, let me see. Anyway, the Pallades system now as Taurus is now coming to an end. The sun in Taurus is moving into the sign of Gemini. The sun will therefore reside within Gemini and illuminating every single thing about that beautiful astrological sign, a zodiacal sign. In between this, the sun moves from Taurus into Pallades or Alcyon, then moves into Gemini. So for a few days, we are going to be receiving the seven rays associated with the Pallades, or the seven sisters, and Alcyon. Alcyon is also known as the central sun. Not the great central sun, but the central sun. So we have Earth, we'll have our Sun, we will have Alcyon, or in the central Sun, we're going to, which is associated with the Pallades, or the Seven Sisters, we'll have a Sirius, and then we'll make our way to the great central Sun. There is a macro and a micro cosm situation that we, are, we deal with, everything that takes place in the heavens takes place at a smaller level here. Although, <laughs> it doesn't always seem very small because we are dealing with it on a personal level. Light reflects. Light is emitted continuously through a process through portals and therefore is sent down to earth where the earth herself mother Gaia is receiving that light and energy to help her advancement where we are receiving that light to help with our own advancement as an individual where the collective is receiving energy to help in the collective's advancement, a lot that's a lot takes place. Every planet is associated with a 
chakra, a color, a sound, a vibration, a frequency. which helps our advancement in our own process towards understanding our own divinity. The rainbow that I have been speaking about and the connected rainbows that I witnessed is the complete merging of the Antikarana. The energy associated with the Pallades in Alkion for the for these for this short period of time is going to help us in that deeper connection. No matter where you spiritually are in your journey, on your journey, you are receiving more of this light. This is also in reference to the silver cord that I mentioned roughly about four months ago, and I speak about this often in my videos when we are working through this same type of energy. And I honestly, I, I should have known my inner intuition was, every time I was making a video here lately, was telling me the rainbow and then I was thinking of the Antikarana. But I don't really speak much until I am sure of it. So my inner intuition was already speaking to me that this is what the true meaning of it was. But I have been waiting and today has been my, my opportunity to speak about this. The energy that is associated with Alcyone and the Pallades is a very feminine energy. The feminine energy is what awakens our soul's blueprint. Every single thing about us, um, which helps us, of course, get back to our roots, connects us at a more deeper and spiritual level, um, awakens um, true humanity back to its core. This will be a very intuitive energy, a very creative energy, a very loving and nurturing energy. Yet we all know that when we begin to feel and open up to more divine love or creativity or greater intuition, we may not feel like our normal selves, which can make us reside within negativity. It's the process. It's okay. I want you to understand that if you are feeling a little overwhelmed, you are feeling very emotional, even triggered, that it is a, pro it is a part of your process and it is necessary. It is still purifying you to help you connect deeper to who you truly are. So in order for us to really be able to know our purpose here, to know our true connection, the silver cord must be intact. The antikarana must be intact. Our soul star chakra is going to receive information about who we are. But if the chakra right below, which is associated with the Pallades, and how we utilize that information is broken because the Indicarana has not been built, there's going to, we are going to feel as if we are disconnected still. This is really making, hitting me and giving me more information about why I have had almost a month here of feeling connected yet disconnected. 
I am completing the end phases of, or I am in the end phase of building and constructing and combining and merging my Antikorana, which is going to bring forth my Merkaba because the Merkaba gets built, but it's not truly intact into our physical form until the Antikorana is built. So the Antikorana, or the Rainbow Bridge, connects your higher self with your lower self. This is the bridgeway that allows true information to be understood. Again, if there is a, a break, just like your silver cord. If your silver cord is not fully intact, there's no way that light transmissions can speak to every chakra that therefore awakens you to your true divinity. And you know there's a process to all of that as well, awakening your DNA. Every single thing, you are purifying yourself. The antikarana is what connects it. And this is what it is when the Antikorana is fully intact. And you are actually receiving that information. When you are receiving light information, your body, your spirit, your mind, you, the, the mind, the, uh, the emotional, so you have the mind, the emotional body, the mental body, the emotional body, the physical body and the spiritual body are all intact, connected now. So you can see the kind of envision the Antikorana being this locking mechanism that binds everything together, that you have worked so hard to connect. Now, it doesn't matter where you are in your journey. If you are just beginning your journey, you are still tapping into this energy that is going to assist you in more completion. So if you have been feeling a little bit disconnected, this is probably why. And I'm, t I'm speaking about, you know, recently here. Because the energy is trying to connect you. But in becoming connected, you can feel the exact opposite. Remember, it's that purification, that trying to make sense of all things, which can make us feel a little separated, disconnected, questioning, not knowing, not understanding. You know, this gets us back to the time in of our of humanity's true divinity of walking like gods being like gods because there's no disconnection again there's no uncertainty So you can also think of the Antikorana as the antenna that is receiving information, processing that information, and making sense of that information. Without it being completely intact within your physical form, through all of your energetic bodies, how do you feel? Disconnected. Unloved judged, unworthy, and all of those other lower vibrational emotions. It's been 
a week, a little over a week, two weeks maybe, that I told you I, I have slowly been feeling like things are coming together again. When you think things are falling apart, it's really coming together. When you think you are broken, you're really being rebuilt. Whatever it is that you are experiencing throughout this time, and continuing on after, even after the sun moves into Gemini, you can still feel this energy. For some time, because it's a process. I am very excited about this. It's all making sense for me in my path. What I have been experiencing already for, for a month now. It was a month prior to this event that I was already experiencing it. And I've been given clues to it for a month. Yet I, I was feeling unsure, a little disconnected, to the point that I was unable to process it. That was a part of my path. It was necessary for me to feel uncertain, unsure, unloved, unprotected, everything disconnected. But I also felt completely unified and connected as well because I've already done this part of it. I was just making those link ups. I wasn't staying within a negative mind, negative energy. I knew it was a part of a process. I didn't understand it. I couldn't make that deeper connection. But as I began to really, as I was, showing faith, trust, and loving that process of not really knowing anything, I was able to still make sense. My internal being, my true being, made sense of it all when my physical form hasn't. You don't always have to have understanding during the time of uncertainty. But you should always have faith, trust, and reflect within love. When you have those three things in your process continuously, when the time comes because the energy has flowed throughout you to give you clarity, understanding will be given. And it's going to be like a fresh of breath air. That is what this sun through the Pallades or Alkion is going to be giving us a fresh of breath air. We might not feel it right away. You might not feel it right now. I am feeling it right now because I've already been in this energy for so long. And now I am on my way out of it. I am I'm actually becoming a little overwhelmed with love right now. When we know, we know why. It makes the struggling or the uncertainty, the pain, the discomfort so much worth it. It gives it so much more value. And that's what I was talking about in the combination of what the seven, the law of seven and the law, law of three and law of seven combination mean, which is associated with the seven sisters, seven days of the week, the seven colors of the rainbow. You have to be able to bridge together that down cycle. You have to dig deep within yourself. 
you have to make a conscious effort to get through your struggle. Because life is always flowing. There's a vibration that is continuously moving and you can either become a part of that flow and change your experience or you can try to or you can restrict yourself resist and deny yourself your own ability to become a part of creation but to create yourself The Antikoran is going to give you higher feedback. Higher feedback, higher understanding. Which is going to feed your soul. And it will feel like you understand your soul's mission. Keep in mind... Your process takes time. You are going to understand something regardless of where you are in your journey at some point. If you are early on in your journey, you're not going to understand and have the same thing that I am having. Or I'm not going to have the same understanding or gifts or anything that somebody else who is even more advanced than myself. We all are receiving according to our own path. I also wanted to, before I end this video, the energy that is coming in may be felt throughout the crown, may be felt at the lower back, may be felt in the heart, may be felt in your feet. How we take in energy and how the energy is processed is also unique to our own path. You may also feel it simultaneously, the crown, the heart, the back, and the feet. Again, our journeys are unique, individualized, and catered to our own contracts and the decisions that we have made for ourselves in, co com in combination with our discussion with the divine. It's really time to get excited. I am always excited. <laughs> I am always excited when it comes to a great energy. I think everything is truly divine. It wasn't always the case. My journey in the beginning was, of course, a struggle. There was so much uncertainty, so much insecurity, so much doubt, so much anxiety, so much physical pain, and so many symptoms. I was very dense. I was very broken, very limited, and lacked true self-love and love in general. But it gets easier. Not because the energy becomes easier, better for you, because we're all getting the same energy. Energy is energy. It's that we get stronger. We remove those negative ideas, emotions, trauma from our physical form. We become more lighter, which provides us with more clarity gives us more love, compassion, understanding to see through things, to see through that veil 
of limitation. Push through whatever you are going through continuously. Always believe in love. Always believe that what you are going through is to give you the opposite. If you didn't struggle, how could you have another opportunity for success? The Antikarana will give you the understanding that the spark of divinity is within you and it always has been. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.